Best monster trick of all time Who stumbles, who crumbles, who defeats all crime He's Mark Stormberg He couldn't fight no matter how hard he tried Then Peter came and he was modified He's Mark Stormberg He crushes cars and jumps and flies He lost the wheel, flips over and dies He's Mark Stormberg He's Mark Stormberg Yeah! Check out this sick monster truck So we actually found this thing in our local Wally world Wait, is it is it proportional? Oh, look at that! That's actually not bad for a Walmart toy. But the tires, uh, it's, it's pretty wobbly. Maybe they dropped it. It's totally begging to be flown. Look at this thing, it's super sick. It's lightweight. It's got these sick foam tires and other than the wonky wheel, we're totally gonna make this thing fly. All right, it's time to get this monster truck in the air. First thing I'm gonna do is take the body off because we're gonna paint it and make it look sick. And we're not gonna be able to paint it later, so I'm gonna do it now. Now I'm gonna make the wings out of this flight test foam board stuff. I'm gonna insert some carbon rods to really kind of stiffen up the wings. These just get kind of taped on and most of the strength comes from the bottom wings. Now we're using under camera airfoil for this specific design because this really allows a lot of lift but a lot of drag which is good for the monster truck because I want it to be slow. And I'm going to use some of this actual aircraft flying wire to kind of tie the wings together and make them real stiff and strong. The top wings also get this done as well. Now we're going to box up the fuselage. This is just some just folded up flight test foam all glued together and boxed in. It's pretty strong and pretty lightweight and it works well for this application. Now I just get shoved in the back and now we glue it together. Pretty much the whole thing's held together with just hot glue because this is a pretty light airplane or light like monster truck in this case and it floats pretty well. So now we're going to glue these wings on in spectacular fashion. I'm going to twist these wires to tighten them up. Now we're going to make the elevator just simply just cut, beveled, and glued for some strength. Now we're going to cut out a notch and notch that into the fuselage and that gets glued under the back half of the plane. It's pretty stiff and I think it's looking pretty good at this point. Now the rudders get glued on and these are some big old rudders. Time to install the motors. These are just so these flight test motors bolted to this piece of aluminum and that gets glued on and bolted on too. And we're all done. Oh, is it ready to go? It is ready to crash. Are you ready for the monster jam? So yesterday we did try to fly it. It basically just took off. And I had to land it before it hit anything because it was really dark and there was really nowhere to go. But it looks like it is capable of taking off. So we're out here in a bigger field now. And we're going to see if it can fly or not. Because uh, that was just a hop. I need to really see this thing is aerodynamically sound and stable. So if it does good, we'll fly it around. I'll assess anything that needs to be changed. And I'll take it back to the shop. Modify it tomorrow. Paint it up. Make it look sick. And then we can really get the show on the road. Or in the air. <laughs> Oh, it definitely sucks with the weight of an airplane on it. It doesn't want to even budge with the stock controller. Look at it. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Sam, what are your bets? It's going to work uh, After last night, 11 out of 10. I'm a little skeptical. It might have some lateral stability issues because the tires are so big they may act as like front rudders, which is terrible for an airplane. 8 out of 10. Like I said, 7 out of 10. Shut up. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why though. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it really needs ailerons or something because I can't really steer. Very good. All right, I'm going to land it before anything bad happens. <laughs> that was sick. It totally worked. Wink. 
All right, that battery's dead. This thing actually flies pretty good. Uh, there is a slight conundrum here, actually. One thing, uh, right now, the way I fly it, it only has like this very motor RPM for controls. Because you look, it only has the elevator control service, which kind of influences the pitch or angle of attack on the wings. And it only has motor RPM to steer. So to turn left, I speed up the right motor, which pulls it over to the left and vice versa for the other way. Now, the only thing is there's no roll control or anything like that. So I'm, I'm going to go back and add ailerons because it's lacking slight control for tight, tight turning and stuff. So we're going to do that. And then it's done. I got to paint it and make it look cool. And then we'll do some stupid things with it. Alright Streeple people, the plane is painted, it looks absolutely sick, I'm happy with the paint job. Now it's time to do some actual aerial maneuvers because I want to see how it flies and then it's time to actually do monster truck stuff. Are you ready for the show? Airborne monster trucks. Alright, everything looks good, here we go. Not bad at all. It handles great now it has the other on. Alright, I'm gonna try a roll. Ready? Here we go. Woo, it did a roll. Okay, here's a loop. Uh, it doesn't have enough up the elevator for a loop. Alright, so we're not doing any loops today. But a roll, I'll accept the roll. I'll do a stall turn. Let's try that. Elevator is definitely not strong enough on this beast. All right, so we got some slight difficulties here. I can't overwork this because this is definitely stalling out. Like I'm definitely able to hold this down. I may have picked a too small of a servo for that. This is just a Metal Gear mini servo. So I'll change this out for tomorrow's stunts. But for now, I think we got some stuff to hit. This Sunday, prepare to be demonetized at Monster Smash 2019 with monster trucks in the sky. Featuring Barnstormer and only Barnstormer. Tickets on sale now at your local Ticketmaster, Speedway Station, now to PPT. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you only need the edge. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Be here or be deep on the podcast. Cessnas versus monster trucks. One to zero. It is the greatest of all time.
<laughs> I think we broke it. Oh, no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the epic adventure of Barnstormer. Uh, let's go inspect the damage. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, I'm hot. actually kind of tired of this. Let's see what I did there. Okay, so um, yeah, I guess that was really cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know what else you guys want to see make fly in the comments below. Thank you, Flight Test, for giving me those motors. They actually work pretty well. And thanks to Glacier for sending the batteries for that. That was awesome. So if you want, check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description where you can buy one of these monster trucks. But anyways, that's the cheapest price you can get that toy monster truck on Amazon. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's broke now. Who stumbles, who crumbles, who defeats all crime? It's Barnstormer!